wewe unataka kulipa haya madeni ni lazima utafute njia mbadala ya kulipa haya madeni na njia ni sisi wenyewe tuweze kujikomboa nimesikia mheshimiwa mmoja akisema ya kwamba ati rais anatoa ahadi mingi sana achague jambo moja amalize moja hata wewe mheshimiwa kwako nyumbani huli sima kila siku leo ni sima kesho ni chapati kesho ni pilau kwa hivyo muacheni rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya azunguke aende atafute nyinyi hata wa leo mnapiga kelele kwa sababu ya upanzi wa miti tusipopanda miti muko na maneno tukipanda mnaanza kusema watu wameenda kupanda jambo ambalo ni jambo yes, uh, la speaker member for Hawa... hold mohas time yes fatuma what is the problem mheshimiwa speaker i would like to uh, honorable member to explain to us who exactly is he talking to because he keeps on pointing at the three of us and saying how how and they were chukua deni how how wanapiga kelele mtu ukipandwa tungaomba utuambie kamili unamzungumzia nani na kama una habari mimi huyu ni mwaka wangu wa kwanza kwa kwenye bunge hili sina deni la mtu oda fatuma you are out of order there are people like italians who speak figuratively with their hands The fact that you are in the direction that is facing doesn't mean he's talking about you. Go on Muhammad. Asante sana mheshimiwa speaker. Nadhani wakiambia ukweli wanatafuta viji sababu visivyo na kichwa wala mguu. Nikisema hawa hawa ni nyinyi ambao mlikuwa katika serikali iliyokuwa hapo awali, nyinyi ambao mlienda mkadaganya wananchi na kuambia mambo ya porojo ili hali mlikuwa mkipora mali yao. Kwanza nyinyi mnafaa murudi kwa wananchi. Muwaombe msamaha, museme nyinyi ndio mmefanya makosa kwa kuweza kupora na kufuja mali ya wakenya na kutuletea haya matatizo. Mheshimiwa speaker, hawa walikuja na kifua wakisema ya kwamba tutafanya mambo mengine kwa lazima. Na leo mnakaa mbele yetu bila aibu, mnataka kutuambia vile ambavyo taifa hili litaendezwa. Hata hayati Emilio Mwai Kibaki alichukua miaka miwili kujenga nchi. Wewe pia kama mbunge ulipochaguliwa huwezi fanya miujiza na kipindi cha miaka moja Kwa hivyo mheshimiwa speaker, yale ambayo rais alizungumzia yalikuwa ukweli bayana. Alizungumzia masuala ya elimu, akazungumzia masuala ya ukulima, akazungumzia pia masuala ya deni ya Eurobond. Na dawa ya deni ni kulipa. Na usidanganywe na mtu yote sisi wa Kenya ndiyo tutalipa hiyo deni sisi wa Kenya ndiyo tutasukuma hii gari mpaka tufike mahala ambapo patakuwa sawa kwa kila mkenya asante sana mheshimiwa speaker member for kapchai oh okay. thank you thank you mr speaker for giving me this time to speak on the speech of the president so speaker when when i listened carefully the speech of the president or speaker so speaker the president is an economic tailor he's an economic tailor mr speaker when you take your cloth your tailor mr speaker and it takes your measurement and tells you come after two weeks to pick your suit mr speaker Don't sit around and see how it tears and takes the scissors to cut the clothes of speaker you might be worried This president the speaker as an economic tailor he has cut in the structures of this government It's important to speaker to know and to know very well that the president the speaker brought in the subsidy